what's up guys. Today I'm going to try something a little different. I want to build a saw station behind me here, but I, I don't really know what I want to do, so I'm just going to kind of video as I figure it out. See how it goes. I will head to town, grab all my materials, and come back here and build this thing. Hopefully I can do it before I have to go and blow snow. It's snowing right now. We got, got like 20 places I gotta go shovel. So, nah, this might, might be an interesting day, but stick with me, guys. Before I get too excited, better go make some breakfast first. So I've got a bunch of plywood, some drawer slides, and uh, I'll just start cutting and see where it goes. So instead of wrestling the sheet down to the table saw, I'm just going to use my skill saw. And the sheet, the sheets itself are going to be my guides. I'm building two cabinets, four feet long by 32 inches tall. They're going to be 24 inches deep with a 32 inch top. I use three quarter inch plywood for everything except for the back. Does every tool turn into a shelf somehow? Yeah, I don't get it. Hey, just look at that. It's a random pile of screws. I don't even know where they're from and I don't know where to put them. All my storage units are full. Yeah, we'll make it work somehow. Go look at that. And it's got a new home. So I'm going to use a French cleat system, but there's one issue. And then that's the grade beam is a little bit wider. So I'm gonna use this MDF to space it out and hopefully that's gonna hang nice and nice and flush the grade beam. I just about have all of my pieces cut now, so we're gonna start assembling this thing. So this is the spacer piece that's gonna bring it out to make it flush with that grade beam. I'm gonna glue it on before I assemble the whole thing. Glue it onto the, the back of my cabinet. What I'm doing now is just shooting a pin through the corner just so it stays while I clamp the whole thing. Now that that's tacked, I'm going to turn this oh, first, maybe put some spaces in there. Turn this over and just chuck a bunch of clouds in there. And 
And now uh, this, this is my top. I'm gonna screw down the cleat as well before I assemble it. I'm gonna pre-drill for some screws. So it's been a couple of days, but we got this thing home on Saturday just before I had to go push some snow. So I had planned to put the miter station over there on that wall. But then I realized I couldn't open the truck door. So now we chain, we put it over here. Now I'm making the platform for the saw to sit on. Well, oh, battery's dead. Well, I'm gonna stop the video there. It's probably long enough by now. Uh, one thing I was going to do is build a backstop for my for my table, but then I realized just how nice of a big working area I've created, so I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm also gonna build some drawers in there. If you wanna watch a good video on building shop drawers, I'll just send you over to Keith's Test Garage. Man, that guy, you know what he's doing. I highly recommend this channel. I'm 
not a fan of how far out the table had to come, but that's just how deep my saw is. That's where the box zero clearance would be super handy. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, but I do like all the open space I have on the bottom. There's still a lot, a lot of crap in there. And my Milwaukee pack out fits in there like a glove. I, uh, I really like how, how tall it is. It's about 41 inches. It's super nice for doing little detailed work. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, let me know. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again in a video soon. Nos vemos.